hello everyone welcome back to in my youtube channel if you are watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press in the bell icon so today we'll talk about how can you boot your asp laptop using your windows 10 bootable cd so without any late let's begin our tutorial so first of all you have to insert any windows 10 bootable cd inside your cd drive after this you have to press in the power button and after uh, switching on your laptop you have to press f2 to check your system information you can see here is uh, some information in your uh, about your laptop and today i am using sp laptop so after this you can see my computer is opening so after now i will restart my computer then i will uh, start uh, then now i'll press f9 to check the boot option that is available or not if there is not cd option i need to set uh, my boot boot options so just wait for a moment it's opening so just wait for a moment yeah you can see there is no cd dvd option so i am pressing again uh, f2 button sorry just wait a moment i'm mistakenly pressing f2 button to check the system information just wait for a moment i will i will go to in exit just wait for a moment yeah i'm going to exit then i will exit this one okay so after this you have to press in the f10 button to bring bio setting so just wait for a moment i am pressing f10 button so after this my bio setting setting is in my screen so you can see there is lots of lots of options available but from the uefi boot order you have to put your internal cd uh, cd rom drive in the first but if you didn't put in the first it will not work and another uh, most important option is you have to enable legacy support if you didn't enable that one it will not work now you have to save it by pressing f10 button i'll just wait from i'm pressing f10 button okay now uh, yes okay so after this you have to press in the f9 button uh, to uh, check the boot option that is available or not just wait for a minute before there was only two boot option right but now you can see just wait for a moment it's opening see now boom it's it's finally done right it uh, there is four uh, boot options available and i'm choosing the cd dvd boot options see now my windows 10 uh, operating system setup is starting and now we can uh, boot and we can format our uh, sp laptop you can see so now i'll clicking in next and now install now just wait for a moment my setup is starting it's telling me like that uh, just wait for a moment i'm uh, i'm also waiting see now my other window is opening so after this you have to uh, take in the i i accept all privacy and terms and you have to choose custom you can see there is lots of lots partition available uh, and you can see there is lots of lots partition available so so i think i need to format this one uh, all the partition uh, using my windows 10 bootable cd so now now i will start to format this one okay 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 just to wait for a moment it's formatting now it's done and if i uh, just wait for a moment if i click yes okay i'm formatting another one also yeah i'm formatting this one also and if i oh oops what's happening here so i think there is something is error so so i think i should to manage this one uh so just wait for a moment so, so i think i need to make uh so i need to delete all the uh, my ticks available in the boot option so i am deleting this one you can see now i think i need to create 
my another disk partition here so i am creating a partition here so just wait for a moment i am putting the how many mb i want in one partition just wait for a moment it's uh, so after this i am clicking in the apply and yes just wait it's working hoping that you are, you understand how can you boot your any kind of sp laptop or pc using windows 10 bootable cd slash dvd and if you have any kind of confusions you can ask me in the comment sections thank you so much for watching this video and i'll meet with you uh with another video and don't hesitate to subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to like my video and don't forget to share my video also thank you so much for watching this video once again thank you so much goodbye